we are the confident communicator and i am seema mehta along with my partner deepma jadeja welcome to imperfect parenting together let's get on a journey of discovering kindness success and happiness courageously fearlessly and by holding ourselves to a standard of grace not perfection it is our mission at the confident communicator to empower kids and adults discover their own uniqueness through our coaching training and soft skills program we welcome you to a new chapter of imperfect parenting a series dedicated to discovering our own uniqueness without judgment by chiseling away all superfluous materials within ourselves this is the thing that that i think all of us human beings have in common is right. that our perspective changes when we look at it are uh, through the lens of having seen where we've come from and the strengths we already have yes, and it's such exactly. a powerful tool it's a really powerful tool you can actually hack your perspective um if you look at it through the lens of your strengths and i mean i'm not talking about strengths like i boast and i say oh good job mel very well done and all this is so clever you're so wonderful no 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 i'm talking about the everyday real things we're doing um nice. that actually make us feel like actually this is okay you know you're going to survive this your kids going to survive this everybody's going to be okay in the end because you're doing your best and it's it's good enough i'm asking parents or rather i'm inviting parents i'm inviting parents um to be success miners imagine that you are a gold mine somewhere inside there's plenty of gold I'm asking you to mine for your success or ask I'm inviting wow. you to mine Beautiful. for your success. And 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 the thing is everybody has it, you know. And and this dad said to me, "Oh, you know, how do you remember all these things?" And I and I said to him, "Actually, if you train yourself with your mindfully thinking, I'm going to mine the successes and I'm going to focus on that. Whatever you focus on becomes more real to you, right?" Yes. And so and and it's and, and this is not positive toxic positivity woo woo rah rah we're all great or anything no i'm 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 inviting you to think about things you've done that you're actually proud of because we 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 don't always do a very great job of noticing what's going well you know well, we, we think yeah. about the stuff that's going wrong that we want to fix that we need to learn from and all this other kind of stuff and and sometimes that can have the feeling of you know feeling like a great weight yes and, yeah. and we need and we need to balance this out a lot yes. which is which is which is why um you know we think that inviting parents to reflect on their own successes doesn't make you puffed up it doesn't make you full of yourself no. doesn't make you and it can be a very private thing but it yeah. is a skill yeah. it it is a skill it is a um it is something that 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 we need to practice because the pass over effect of this on our kids yes. is very great it's very yeah. great What do you say to that? Yeah. Absolutely. I think perfect I think the perfect parent is a myth. I think there are times when we are close to it and we are happy in our parenting bliss because yeah. we feel connected to our kids. But I think that feeling connected to our kids is as close as we get to perfection. And Correct. it's not about the perfect house or the perfect environment, the perfect school, the perfect number of skills that the kid has had or any of those things, all the lessons we're sending them to and all this other kind of nonsense. It's all rubbish because at the end of the day Um you know none of us on our deathbed are going to be thinking oh how wonderful we sent our kid to piano and six lesson <laughs> languages and and all of these things and we made all of that happen although you know great if your kids want to do that but yeah. the parenting but the parenting journey is raw Long. and ugly and challenging and beautifully imperfect because it's also joyful and maturing and it's a mirror to yourself like you'll never see like i i used to think oh, i really know myself you know until i had kids <laughs> and uh and then i thought holy moly who is mel and what has happened to her and and i and i realized that you know becoming a parent is really dying to yourself There are these 
there are there's going to be a lot of parents who are just starting out their journey as a parent and i love this i would say utopian for the moment because i'm a little bit skeptical uh utopian because i'll say okay let's start the parenting journey being very positive only focusing on everything positive all of that great i'd love to be in that mindset but life has some other plans for you it throws things at you curve balls challenges stress comparisons expectations and all of that and to be able to mindfully pull yourself out of that mess and that shit how do you uh, acquire this let me focus on the parenting wins uh, and have that you know remember what i'm good at how do you do right. that i mean can you kind of right. walk us through the process right so so firstly um it's not exactly about focusing on the positives in fact i don't really like the word positive yeah um, because mm-hmm. because firstly because i think it's 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 got a sort of inauthentic feel to pressure. it yes, um, yes. yeah it, it and 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 you know i i i'm talking about focusing on the parenting wins i mean you know and yeah. a win can look different for another person you know if you've been for example severely depressed mm. and you've managed to make it out of bed today uh. to to just put some conflicts on the table for your kid hey that's a win too that's you know a, a win, win doesn't have to be that's I great created, i created a five course meal for my offspring with all the food groups and all that no and and this is and this is the thing that i think is important yes is it's not about and the winds are all around us right the the winds are happening no matter what it's yeah. are you choosing to see them correct um, correct and and if if you know anybody who's getting out of bed putting a foot on the ground and looking at their kids has already technically done something yeah move a little bit further from that and you know connect with your kids say something like this there winds everywhere it's just a matter of perception it's like that dust yes. and the flower you yes. know life is going to have the dust and the flowers there are going to be the winds and the losses I think talking about failure, acknowledging our own imperfections, I think that's so powerful and so important because imperfection leads to connection, right? Like yes. who wants to connect with perfect? Correct, who, exactly. Who even sees themselves in perfect? We all connect to people that we can relate to yes. who are just as imperfect as us. And yes. so, you know, when connecting with kids, we don't want them to think that we're the gold standard sitting on a pedestal. All of us know that feeling of when we first realized that our parents were fallible. I mean, what a fall from grace, right? Yes. But actually if we never have that because our parents are telling us straight up hey you know what just as fallible as you and like you know how we yeah. make fun of each other all the time like it's That's it's just vulnerable yeah yeah absolutely um, and, yeah. and it's, it's 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 about it's about respect absolutely but the respect goes towards the parents and the kids and that is very important because because we are trying to raise respectful people and people know how to be respectful when they have first felt respect to themselves right. so that i think is a very important aspect of all of yeah. this you know, any 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 idea of you know kids should be seen and not heard and very quiet and listen to everything the grown up say and all that no we're raising critical thinking intelligent citizens of tomorrow mm-hmm. yeah we cannot be like i say you do i say jump you say how high no that, that, that's not what we're doing my way or the highway yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. no 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 my way or the highway i mean that kind of stuff you know it never worked and it definitely i love the i i i love the the way you guys have taken imperfect and actually made it the standard because yes you know it it we don't need to be striving for something that we can't ever achieve and we certainly don't want that to be the lesson we give our kids you know yeah. mental health and well-being is so important and if we're striving towards impossible ideals um we're not doing ourselves a favor Correct. and um and part of and part of why we want parents to celebrate their wins is also because we know that when we lift up parents and when parents are feeling better about their own journey there's definitely a carry through for the kids and yeah. um and 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 it's such a powerful thing because i mean let's face it after these last couple of years all of us have been bashed six ways to sunday you know all mm-hmm. of us feel like this has been a very hard time yeah. and 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 i think that more than anything now we're all united in our need for something bigger something better something a little bit more empowering but also 
something that gives us strength and that something is actually already in us. You know, by balance, I think that we are talking about redressing the balance, like re regaining the balance because our, for many of us in the tough times, our default setting is thinking about what we've done wrong. And so what we mean by balance in this sense is addressing that what we've done wrong with yes. the what we've done right. Um, and it's not about staying in a state where we are happy all the time. Yeah, like let's 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 be very clear that no parent yeah. is happy all the time. That is not the gold state. No learning can happen with perfection. So like nobody's even striving for that and nobody's striving for happy all the time. This is the other thing that's really important. If your kids are talking to you about difficult feelings, big feelings, feelings that make you struggle too. Be open and honest about it. Yes. This is not about la la, this is wonderful. Let's only talk about what's going well. I don't want to talk about what's going bad. Yeah. No. No. Um, no. Because even your child opening up to talk to you about a difficult feeling is a win for it's a you. Win. It's, it's a, win. a huge <laughs> win. It's Every a win. parent wants that because that's how exactly. we can guide them to, uh, you know, on the path that they're having so much difficulty with. Yeah.